Hey guys, this your girl Kay Tashay, and I wanted to say thanks for hanging out with me today. We have a great menu ahead, and remember guys, today is a beautiful, beautiful day. This is what we're going to need today, so let's get to it. Okay guys, so today I had plans on doing pork chop. And I was going to do those inside, but I have to show y'all the type of day we're having today because it is so beautiful outside and anybody who knows me know I like to cue okay barbecue all right so instead of doing these inside I'm gonna bring it outside and we're gonna do them up on the grill okay so we're gonna, gonna put a little smoke to them guys excuse the hair because not going well but tomorrow is going to be probably a wash day for me so that's why I'm not doing anything to it but um, yeah we're gonna go ahead and do these outside because it's a wonderful day it feels nice out there the Sun is out I hope the Sun is not too bright for you guys um, I'm gonna try and get some good angles, hopefully, to where you can see what I'm doing. Um, and we're gonna do this outside today. Um, so you'll see a lot of my cooking outside. Um, but again, with everything that's going, that's been going on with the coronavirus and, you know, all of that, and then the weather hasn't really been, you know, that nice we haven't really had you know nice weather and really for the last probably four days we've had rain so this is one of the nicer days and i'm just gonna take advantage of that and we're gonna just cook this outside because you know we love to have rain in the next couple of days maybe maybe even tomorrow but i'm gonna take advantage of today and we're gonna get these on the grill so I'll see you guys in just a second. I'm going to get my hair pinned up. I'm going to get in something a little bit more comfortable. And we're going to get to cooking. See you guys in a minute. This is the type of day we're having today. Y'all heard it? And there she is. Gonna get this thing going. That's the star of the show. All right, guys, let's get to it. Now here I have some boneless pork chop, um, and they're about a, an inch or so thick, and they have been butterflied. I bought them this way from my local market, and I'm going to just season them up with some seasoned salt, uh, as well as garlic powder, and I'm only going to put the seasoning salt on one side, you'll notice, and I'm going to use salt on the other side. Because, you know, pork is already kind of salty, so I don't want to use too much salt. So I just use the seasoned salt on one side, and then on the other side, I just use salt with that. Along with that, I added uh, garlic pepper and parsley uh, flakes. To the lower right-hand corner, I have some butter sauce with parsley and minced garlic in there. And I just kind of melted it down. And that is what I'm going to base the pork chops with as they cook. Just to keep them uh, moist and just to keep them from, you know, not drying out. Plus, it's going to add a bit of extra flavor to that. So, let's get going with this. So, I just added some smoke chips to the left-hand corner. Because I want to put some smoke flavor into uh, my pork chop. And I'm gonna just clean up the grill a little bit and we're gonna get going with this. This 
this is just an alternative method that you can use for the smoke chips if you don't have the metal pan that I have. Okay, we got these bad boys going. Guys, they look good already. This is how I just keep the fire down. If it blazes up as I'm cooking, I just go ahead and I just hit it with some water. It's just an easy way to just keep the fire down. Sorry about the dogs in the background, <laughs> but they were smelling this food and you know how that goes. I really wish you guys could smell how good these chops smell right now. Let me go ahead and say welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers. And I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me today. And guys, it is so free to subscribe. So go ahead and take a moment and hit that subscribe button. Okay, guys. I'm going to go ahead and hit those one time with the garlic butter sauce. And we're going to go ahead and get these off because we don't want to overcook them. And we don't want those to be dry. Here is the final result, guys, and they are beautiful. These chops are so tender and juicy. Here I'm just having it with a lettuce and tomato salad. You guys know that that's my go-to. Look how juicy the chops are. I want you guys to give this recipe a try and let me know what you think about it. Guys, be sure and drop a comment down below and let your girl know. Okay. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll get a notification each and every time I upload. And I will see you guys in the next one.